Hi, this is Brian Forster, and today we are going to be exploring Abu uh, Ghurab, which is the sister site, or possibly an extension of this site that was in my previous video called Abu Sir. There you can see the Giza Plateau in the background. So, in fact, Abu Ghurab and Abu Sir are extensions of Giza. Giza is much, much larger than most people realize and includes other sites such as Abu Rawash and also Dashur. And those are the locations where the original pyramids or pernetters are located. So there again you see Giza in the background. And here we are driving the short distance from Abu Sir to Abu Ghurab. These sites are very rarely visited by tourists because most people don't even know that these sites exist. But that's why our tours are very special. And the next one will be in March of 2020. So if you're interested in coming along, please check out <coughs> excuse me, my website, Hidden Inca Tours, and you'll be able to see the complete itinerary. So this is uh, the location itself of Abu Ghurab. And at Abu Sir, we saw lots of examples of core drill holes, some people stating that the core drill holes were from the 20th century, but this is not the case. And you're going to see an obvious example of a core drill hole or two at this location of Abu Ghurab. And obviously, the core drills are from the age of the creation of the objects we're going to look at. Here you see a bowl made out of sandstone. We're going to be seeing other ones like it, what the original function was, completely unknown. So what we're approaching now is called the Hotep, and it is composed or made from travertine, and according to our geologist, the uh, the five blocks that make up the Hotep are so large that they are unlikely from a quarry in Egypt and could be from a quarry somewhere in Turkey, which is quite a distance away. Other people believe that this is actually the top of a shaft that connects to a tunnel system that goes all the way to Giza. So here is one example of a core drill, and obviously this comes from the time of the creation of the Hotep. And here we are, and there's another core drill. So the idea that this is modern is wrong. And supposedly this is one of a kind. There may have been other Hoteps in other locations, but this is the only one that is still more or less intact. And the fact that it still exists at all when we look at all of the destruction of ancient Egyptian sites, it is astonishing that this still does exist. And thankfully, it's preserved and protected by local people. So here's another example of a core drill and see its association with that depression in the stone. It's not simply a random <clears throat> core drill that was taken, which would probably be the case if it uh, if geologists had been there in the 20th century taking samples. And now we're coming up to a series of travertine, I guess you would call them bowls. We don't know what their original function was. Uh, according to standard academia, these were bowls for the sacrificial blood of bulls, but that's bull, because if that was the case, then these holes would be at the bottom and not almost near the top. So you can see the interior. They're lined up now, but they were not originally found this way. They were excavated from the site, and then they were lined up by archaeologists, possibly Emery was the archaeologist, and they were going to be transported at one time to the Cairo Museum, but for some reason they never made it there. So they're still in situ, more or less. You can see each one has a perfect drill hole in it. 
And upon very careful examination and measurement, it turns out that these holes are not perfectly circular, but they're oval. So that's intriguing. What kind of drill would that involve? Not a standard circular core drill, but some other kind of drill. And travertine is not especially hard. There you can see a saw cut in the middle of the screen. So here's James from Panama <coughs> measuring the core drill. And he found out that they are in fact oval. So what kind of technology was involved to do that, we're still trying to figure out. And if you look carefully, you can see the penetration uh, of the, the hole with the drill. You can see the obvious circular um, or circles left by the cutter. So that was our exploration of Abu Ghraib. Again, we'll be returning to Egypt in March of 2020 if you'd like to join us. Uh, our tour is, I have to say, very unique in that we get to visit locations such as Abu Sir, Abu Ghraib, Abu Rawash, and some others you probably have never heard of. Here I'm getting my ride back, and as we go, we're going to pass by Abu Sir, which again was the subject of my previous video from a few days ago. So there you see what's left of the pyramids of Abu Sir. What we did see is lots of evidence of ancient machining technology and also catastrophic damage at Abu Sir. And same as well, we saw that at Abu Ghraib. So once again, the remains of the pernetters or pyramids of Abu Sir.